10, 3, work together. It says using the current year, journalize the following transactions on page 9 of the cash receipts journal for classic appliances. Source documents are abbreviated as follows. Receipt R, terminal summary is TS. Um, so it looks like we have five transactions. Again, they only give us the one journal, um, so we don't have to pick yet. Um, again, remember looking for clues. Um, here we don't have a specific source document that would go into cash receipts. We just need to look at any time we are receiving cash, it goes into our cash receipts journal. So September 3rd. We receive cash on account from Lenny Stanford covering S216, $2,189.36, less a 2% discount, receipt number 264. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my customer's name in here because that's who I'm receiving money from. And then I'm going to go over to my accounts receivable credit and I'm going to put in how much they initially owed us. So they owed us $2,189.36. Okay, then I need to look at what the discount is that I gave them. So I'm going to take that amount that they owed us times 2%, and that gives me a discount of $43.79. Okay. So to find out how much cash I actually received, I'm going to subtract what they owed us minus the discount that we gave them. So they actually paid us in cash $2,145.57. Okay, next on the oops, last, don't forget, document number receipt 264. All right, next one on the six, we recorded cash and credit card sales, $5,326.30, plus sales tax of $298.15 for a total of $5,624.45. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in how much cash we received. So I received the total amount of cash, so this one here. $5,624.45. Then I'm going to look at how much of that was from sales. So I'm going to go to my sales credit, and here I see my sales, $5,326.30. And then the last little bit is for my sales tax. So I'm going to go to my sales tax payable credit, and that's going to be $298.15. Now, I don't have anything to write in my account title. However, remember, I can't leave it blank, so I am going to put a check mark there. And then last thing is I'm going to put in my source document of TS38. I should be double checking to make sure that my debits equal credits. And we'll move to the AC. On the 8th, we received cash on account from Venice Cafe covering S218 for $390.34, less a 2% discount receipt number 264. So again, I'm going to put my customer name here. And then I'm going to go to my accounts receivable credit, and I'm going to put in how much they initially owed us, $390.34. So they are paying that completely off. Then we're going to figure out what the discount was. So I'm going to take 390.34 times 2%. That gives me a discount of $7.81. And then going to subtract those two numbers to figure out how much cash they actually gave. And the cash amount then is 382.53. Last step is I'm going to put in my receipt, receipt 265. On the 20th, we recorded cash and credit card sales, $5,624.45, plus sales tax of $320.59 for a total of $594.04, um, terminal summary 39. So again, I'm going to start with my cash debit. I'm going to put the total amount which was 
Then I'm going to go over to my sales credit and put a how, how much of that was from sales. $5,624.45. And then the last thing I will put in would be that sales tax payable, which will be $320.59. After my debits and credits are equal, I'll go put in my source document of TS39. And since I don't have an account to write here, I need to put in that check mark. Last transaction is the 28th. We received cash on account from Washington City Schools covering S199 for $1,509.45, receipt 266. So I'm going to put in my customer name first. I'm going to go into the accounts receivable. I don't, it doesn't say anything about a discount here, so I'm not going to put any discount in there. So I simply receive $1,500. $9.45 in cash. And then my last step is to put in my receipt number of 266. Okay, those are all in, so I will check answer and save and continue. You can now go on to the on your own and then onto the 10 for lecture.